Okay, today we're going to introduce charcoal. Charcoal is the oldest drawing material that we've got and it's most raw. The only thing to think about when you're working with charcoal, the good and the bad thing about it, is that it doesn't fix to the page. So when you finish your drawing you'll have to fix it, but we'll talk about that later. <clears throat> What's wonderful about charcoal is you can move you, it creates dust, it creates lines, it creates mess. It means you can move around the page. I'm going to work on a large drawing. So again, like we did yesterday, where we're working with gesture, we can really explore gesture and movement with the charcoal. But we're also going to start introducing tones into our work. Because obviously charcoal being dark is very good for exploring tonal relationships. So, like we did yesterday, we're going to be working gesturally and loosely. And I'm just going to start drawing in the shapes. Again, the way you draw is going to be different to the way I draw. This is the way I'm exploring the page. We want you to explore the page. I'm exploring the whole page. I'm really enjoying the freedom of this charcoal today. I'm drawing a little shell again. Now I'm looking at that. Look, there's this little shell here. It's got these wonderful curved shapes. I can feel the sculpturalness of that shape. When I look at it, I can squint my eyes and I can see but they're darker and lighter areas. They're the areas where the light is touching it and it's glowing. And then they're the areas where the shadows are forming. And those shadows are helping create that form. So all I'm going to do without worrying, without thinking too much, I'm just going to start building in the darker areas. And keep highlighting the forms. There's an amazing twist in that shape. I just want to work slowly and try and achieve that shape with this charcoal. I'm almost feeling it. I'm almost building this drawing today. And then I can see that there's some very light areas, but I want to get them back. I've sort of lost them a bit. So I'm just going to use an eraser, a rubber, and start taking away. But I'm going to work really quickly between taking and adding. I'm going to use my whole hand too and really feel the shapes. Then I'm going to get those lines back and I'm going to take them away. I'm just going to enjoy this process. I'm going to look at the shadows underneath as well. Build those in. And then I'm going to get the shapes back again. I'm going to keep working like this. This is going to take a while. This is going to be longer than the other exercises. It can take as long or as little as you like. Stop when you're finished and when you're ready. But keep going. Experimenting with the shapes. As you go.